Hello web developers, we're going to be talking about Bootstrap Carousel and this plugin is a component for cycling through elements like a carousel would do. Um, so it's more like a slideshow as you can see here in the example we're going to be working on. And how are we going to use the or create this effect? First of all, we have to include our Bootstrap and JavaScript CDN. So here we are, three links we talked before. We have the Bootstrap CSS, jQuery, and Bootstrap JavaScript. These three um, references or links we're going to are going to be adding our Bootstrap. We also created for this example a CSS that's going to be working and with the margin of the photos, okay, and the width. And but let's go deeper into our code. As always, we created a container class, and but let's talk more more about this. Okay, so we start with the first, um, the uttermost diff, and here the, the carousel requires the use of, of an ID that's um, ID'd as my carousel for for the carousel to function properly. Okay. Then we have also a class. This class basically it's going to specify that this div contains that carousel and we, and also add the class, the slide class. And basically what this does is that it adds a CSS transition and animation effect, which makes the item slide when showing a new item. We can remove this and we'll lose that sliding animation. Let's take it away for a while. See now that the images just swap between them. There's no slide animation. When I add back the slide class, I get a smooth sliding transition. Okay. Um, then we have our indicators, and I have a, a ordered list with the class carousel indicators. And this class basically, what it's doing is that it's the indicators are the little dots at the bottom of each slide, which indicates how many slides are in the carousel and which slide is the user currently viewing. Okay, so and the indicators are specified in an order list to see to basically know what order are the slides going to be. So and we use this attribute that is slide two, first picture will be zero, one, second picture, two, third picture, and three, fourth picture. Okay. We can also there's a um, there's an data target my carousel so it knows where uh, that I'm pointing to so I'm making reference to my carousel the div I created um, at the beginning and every time I click on that indicator I switch to the corresponding slide okay so let's go to the wrapper for slides. Here we go. And in this section, we basically created four inner divs that contains an item. And those items are my are, are images or my images in this example. So you can see that every image is inside a div. Okay, so you wanted to do this correctly. You can add more if you like. Um, an important um, thing about this section is that one of these classes must contain the active class because without this active class um, the carousel will not be visible so we have to add this otherwise like I said before the carousel would not be visible okay and finally we have the left and right controls and in the left and right controls we can control if we want to go to the next picture or the previous picture okay Basically here we're talking about here and here, click through the right and we'll go to the next, left click, left arrow, we'll go to the previous picture. And basically we're making reference, look that um, they are um, hyperlinks and um, tags. And what we're going to be, there's a reference to my carousel, that div we created at the top here. and with the data slide attribute, we're just telling them to go previously, pref, to go back, or using next to go to the next picture. Okay, so let's see this example one more time. 
look that if I click right, it'll go to the next picture. If I click left on the left arrow, it'll go to the previous picture. I can also use click on the buttons on the indicators at the bottom, and it'll take me to my corresponding slide. With this, we conclude our demo on Bootstrap Carousel. Um, stick around and look for our next video. We're going to be talking about Bootstrap tabs. Bye-bye.